Hi, this is Cheryl Smith with Heartland Stamping, and I'm here today to show you our alphabet set. This alphabet set is called the Playful Alphabet Dies, and I wanted to do something fun for Valentine's Day and use our 3x3 three three acetate boxes. What I did was I took the alphabet set and I cut out, mm, do you remember the candy hearts that had the sayings on them? It's kind of along that line. And I wanted to do it on some cards that I could just tuck in right like this into our acetate box and then fill with some little hearts. Well, let's turn them this way so everybody can see the pretty hearts, but you get the idea. And you could put all kinds of little candy treats in here that will fit in a space that it's almost an inch, not quite, maybe three quarters to seven eighths of an inch, and then three by three. So all kinds of things. I mean, even this Reese's heart will fit in. And I'll do that just so you can you can see that it does. So that would go in here with maybe a couple of the Kit Kat, little individual Kit Kats. Those are some of my favorites. And uh, then you just tuck that in. And so yes, that, that Reese's heart really does fit in there. So that was the idea behind this box. And you could use this as a card or you could go ahead and just glue that shut if you didn't want them to see the inside and just have it be the front of your box. But let's talk a little bit about how we did this and uh, how you guys can recreate this sample at home. Clear all my goodies off, all the candies off. Now, if you want to line up some letters, the easy way is to use our grid paper and just line them up right on the grid lines and make sure they're just as far apart as you want them to be. And then we're gonna grab some washi tape and we'll just lay that over the top of the letters. Now, doing two is relatively easy. It gets a little more problematic when you have a longer word. Um, really four letter words fit better on these three by three cards. You can see I already did the, the mine. We're gonna do B mine. Um, the I was really hard. It kept kind of spinning back and forth. So um, just kind of tape your letters in line how you want them and then we're gonna set those to the side. We're going to get out our mini stamp and cut and emboss, which I am so thrilled that this is here. So it doesn't take up as much space. It's not so big when I'm showing you guys things in the tutorials. So if you haven't used this before, let me show you real quick. It does, and I know that's kind of loud, but it does fold up so that you can transport this nicely. Um, this is your, your cutting plate or cutting base. It is really thin and great, like I said, for transporting. It's so lightweight. You're going to put one cutting plate down and then put another cutting plate down. I want to say clear cutting plate, but they're not as clear as they once were because I've used them quite a bit already. Um, so we'll set this out of the way just a little bit. I forgot to tape these on. So we're going to put the mine right here and then we'll put B right above it. I'm just going to eyeball these. You could do all sorts of measuring if you wanted to. Let's see. I think that looks about even and you can kind of use your grid paper to see if it's going to line up. Just take that and, oh, here's a spare piece of cardstock. And if you run that along the bottom, you can see how much space there is on each grid line. Let's do that from the top on this one. Oh, don't move your paper. Line that up. It looks like this one's pretty good, but I think the E's a little bit lower. So let's move that. Just like that. Okay, that's a little better. So grid paper comes in handy, right? It's about even from the sides. So we're gonna roll that through. Put my clear one on top. 
And I stagger those just a tiny bit. That seems to help it, um, help it kind of get over the hump, not have such a big, big jump that it has to go over. And it is a little bit hard when you have all those letters lined up in a row like that for it to roll over. So I always take it very slowly. I baby my machine. I tend, I tend to be really careful with it. There we go. Okay. So we'll set our mini Stampin' Emboss over there. If you guys uh, are interested in that, I will say that it's $60, and right now with Celebration, you can uh, you can get Celebration rewards with every $50 that you purchase. So it's a great time to get your Stampin', Stampin' Mini and uh, also get your Celebration rewards too. And if you're like, Cheryl, what are you talking about? We have this cute little brochure that has all kinds of fun celebration rewards from designer series paper um, there's an exclusive host set there is an exclusive set of 200 sheets of six by six paper for those who join stampin up right now and then ooh, well this is my favorite it's a bundle and this one is at the 100 dollar level if you purchase uh 100 or more in stampin up products you'll get the designer series paper in that stamp set for free but again there are also just gorgeous papers at the $50 level. This awesome cute little donkey stamp set. I've seen so many things. The best one was somebody had done uh, 2020 and this little donkey was kicking it right on out of here. Woohoo. And then this has been the favorite with my customer base right now is the Oso oh Ombre Designer Series paper. So again, don't miss out. If you're ordering right now, you'll get the celebration rewards starting at $50. All right, enough infomercial, back to the stamping. We're gonna peel these off and I'm gonna, gonna keep those intact because I'm gonna do a couple of more of these after, after the video is over. Carefully peel off your washi tape. I was maybe a little zealous with the washi tape here. I don't think we needed to uh, have this big of a strip, but that's okay. Just peel it off very gently because you don't want it to grab a hold of your paper and tear it after you've done all that work to get it nice and even. So there we have the B mine. And did we pull those little pieces of the B out? Ooh, I hope we can find the other one. All right. So what we're going to do is put something really cute and fun behind that. I have some of our rainbow glimmer paper. It's really pretty. I thought we could do this purple and pink area. And I cut that just so it fit right, right inside. So maybe a quarter of an inch shorter. So the card is three by three. And this piece that's gonna fit behind is two and three quarter by two and three quarter. And then it'll just peek out in the front. So the first thing you're gonna wanna do is decide, well, if, uh, if I'm going to just keep this closed, you could kind of put that up a little bit with some dimensionals so it's got some height. And I think I'm gonna do that. So I'm gonna glue this piece right down here. Use some multi-purpose liquid glue. I really love that glue. It's my new favorite adhesive. For some reason, I didn't use it for the longest time, and now I just use it all the time. So we'll put that right in here. And because we don't have it cut super close to the edge, we don't have to worry about something not being, being covered. So you can put that down flat, or you can kind of let it pop up just a little bit. So let's put some dimensionals in here. I'm gonna grab these. This is a uh, edge piece, so I'm just going to snip some of these apart. And I'm going to put them right underneath my letters. 
This is just going to be in the box. It's not ever going to be a card or anything. Nobody's going to pull it out. So we, they're not going to open it. But I do want my, uh, my paper to stick really well. And sometimes on this glitter paper, I use a little more adhesive than I would normally because I want to make sure that that's not going to pop off. So there we go, all the way around it. And let's get some on these sides too. There's one, and I think I'm gonna, oh, nope, I've got one more that I won't have to cut. We'll put one on this side, and then maybe one right here. And one right there. There we go. All right, so now I'll peel all of these off. Don't you guys just love dimensionals? I think I use them on every project that I make. Very rarely do I have a project that is is just one one little layer and no no dimensionals. So then we're going to close that down. And it all looks very uniform because I put those pieces, you know, right along the edges of all of the letters. So here are our extra pieces, and we can do something with those in just a minute. And I, I really wanted to keep this, both of these B pieces that came out of here, but I only have the one. I'll track down the other one later and put it in here. But you can lay that down right here, boop, and that'll fill in. But if you want it to be the same, you're going to have to put a tiny little dimensional right behind it. So. Let's come over here and we'll trim one off. So we cut that and we're gonna cut it down just one more. And then when I find that other piece, I'll put that one on there too. So I'm gonna peel half of it off. And let's fold this on there very carefully. There we go. Then we'll peel the other side off. I'm going to try to do with this with my fingers, but I might have to use that pick tool if I can't. No, that's good. So the other piece goes right here. And if I have to, I'll just cut another one. That's no big deal. Wait. Oh, no, that was just the back of the dimensional. So like I said, when I, when I find that one, I'll stick it on there. So that is the glitter one. Yay, fun glitter, love that. That's gonna look super cute in our box. I'll show you what it looks like in there. They all look better inside the box because the box is nice and shiny. So there you go. And I did have some pieces that were left over from the last one that I did in this flirty flamingo. When I cut out the I love you, I thought about doing one where I took the U and I did Y here and a U here, so it was just love you. And then I had this piece from another project. Uh, what? This is the Stitched Be Mine dies. They come with all of these hearts and pretty little pieces, but my favorite one is this kind of heart heart outline. And I usually use it to just get a bunch of little hearts that I'm going to use uh, in another project in another video. And then I have this guy left over. And I thought, well, how cute would that be if I could just put that on here with these letters? So I thought if I lay this down here, and again, I wasn't, I wasn't using the hearts for, uh, for something that I wanted to put our adhesive sheet backing on, but that would have been ideal for these if I would have done that. So I'm just gonna put some tiny little dots of glue on here. And I mean, I am barely even squeezing because I don't want a big, big blob of glue on here. And I'll just put a little bit on those edges. There we go. Okay. So I'm gonna put this right down here at the bottom. And again, this is Flirty Flamingo, and I'm doing it on basic black. 
and we're gonna let that just sit for a second while we do our letters. So when you have some loose letters like this, I kind of place them where I want them and I want, I want them to be kind of uneven because the hearts are uneven too. So just kind of like the, the letters were scattered on there. Okay, I've got the letters where I want. I'm gonna pick those up one at a time and I am gonna get my you pick tool and just pick up one so I can pick it up without moving the other letters, my little fumble fingers. I don't want them. I don't want them messing up the other letter spacing because I have it perfect. So just put some adhesive on that. And I try not to touch that that glue. Then I'll put that down. All right. Pick up the O, and the, this alphabet is really great because it has more than one O. It has more than one A. Um, it's got a couple of E's, and it also has the numbers. So when you're spelling some things out like this and you want to put them all in a row, uh, you'll be able to do that. So like two P's, there are two A's. Um, it's just really nice. I, I, I love it. It's a great size. It comes in handy for scrapbooking too. But little gifty projects and even home decor type projects, it's really cool. There we go. One more letter. I got brave and just picked that E up. Let's turn that one that way. Okay, now the last one that I have to do is this heart. And how I'm gonna do this heart is, I'm just gonna put a little dot of glue right there. And then I'm gonna use my tool to lay it right where I want it. There we go, okay. Put the lid back on this guy so he doesn't leak all over the place. Now that that had some time to dry on there and sit, I'm going to come back over here and these edges, I will just trim right off where it's hanging off the edge. There we go. Now the last thing I want to do is add some sparkle with my Wink of Stella. So I'm gonna add some sparkle definitely to that heart. And maybe I'll just go ahead and put some on all of these letters, just because I think it adds a lot. I'm trying not to uh, go outside the lines, shall we say, and get that on the black because I want the black to be kinda, kind of solid, just no sparkle be a great backdrop in contrast for this flirty flamingo. Now, if you wanted to, you could do these hearts. I would do that before you glue them down. I'm not gonna do those. I wanted the just the sparkle to be on the love. So, there we go. There are our little note cards. And if you wanted to, you could make up uh, several of these to fit inside your your three by three acetate box, but I just have the, uh, I just have, I'm gonna call them the fronts, the box fronts. That is still not quite straight, there we go. Um, and I'm gonna put these just in the front and then fill them with candy. So there's that one. I think this one's probably dry enough. Let's see what that one looks like in there. There we go. Oh, I really like the black one the black one with the flirty flamingo. I think that's my favorite. And that one, that one was the one that I just did out of leftover parts that I had laying around. And that one is my favorite. So, so funny. All right, well, let me recap the products that we used and then, uh, then I'm gonna let you guys go for the evening. I hope you uh, have fun doing some great Valentine projects. Remember, this is the Playful Alphabet die, and we also used the 
stitched Be Mine dies, and there was no stamping involved at all tonight, which is unusual, but we just did some fun die cuts and uh, help, help get it ready for some Valentine's Day uh, treat giving. If you have any questions about any of the products that were used or any of the measurements, just let, uh, contact me through CherylSmith.StampinUp.net. I'm also on YouTube under Heartland Stamping, and uh, I'm on Facebook, Cheryl Smith Independent Stampin' Up! Demonstrator, and also the stamping group Heartland Stamping uh, is on there as well. So thank you very much, everyone. Have a wonderful evening, and we'll see you again soon. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe if you want to stay tuned and see what's up next.